right, welcome to the original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going to go back up to the Great White North. I'm going to give you some insight and some inside information that I've recently uh, acquired related to the murder of Greg Picasso Woolley, um, a, uh, no, a historic power broker in the Canadian underworld close to uh, the Rizzuto mob, close to the Hells Angels, was someone that was kind of looked at as a um, a diplomat, somebody that uh, was trusted by Vito Rizzuto, the godfather, Mom Boucher, the, the famous Hell's Angel. Um, and he was murdered, uh, murdered in November. There's a lot of questions related to what happened. And I'm being told that uh, we had already reported that that murder came from the Hell's Angels. Um, he was a Hell's Angel affiliate. We had reported incorrectly, I want to uh, correct ourselves, that he never became a full patch Hell's Angel member. He was the leader of a Hell's Angel um, support club called the Rockers, who fought on the front lines of the great Quebec biker war of the 90s and early 2000s, uh, actually helped uh, bring that conflict to an end, as well as helped uh, create the alliance between the Rizzuto mob and the Hell's Angels, or helped solidified even further, fortified even further uh, going into the 21st century. Um, I'm being told that his murder ties back to a pair of beefs that he was uh, in with Hell's Angels over um, the last year to year and a half. Uh, I heard that he was in a dispute with a very, very powerful Montreal Hell's Angel by the name of uh, Marvin Casper Wemet, Casper the Ghost. Uh, Normand Wamet uh, came out of prison after 14 years just a couple months ago. Um, I heard that behind bars, he he had been in a, a spat um, with Wooly when Wooly was outside um, regarding illicit business. And that there was another dispute uh, that stemmed out of Ontario with Patrick Locke, uh, one of the big Ottawa shot callers in the Hells Angel. And that these two disputes or feuds uh, lay the groundwork for his eventual assassination and him falling out with the boss of bosses right now in Montreal, the Hell's Angel uh, number one shot caller in Quebec, Marty Robert, a.k.a. Marty the Capo, and that Marty um, wanted loyalty from Greg Woolley uh, towards the Angels and not for him to either, A, have his loyalty with the Rizzutos or try to play both sides of the fence. And that the dispute with Casper the Ghost and the dispute with Patrick Locke uh, led to Marty stepping in and Marty becoming upset with, with uh, Picasso Woolley. That's what they called him, Picasso. I believe Vito Rizzuto nicknamed him that, said he, had, you know, he, he turned crime into an art form which is where Picasso came from. Um, and that, you know, Casper Wilmette is a guy that has gone from zero to a thousand. He came out of prison in the, in the fall and I'm being told he has um, elevated quickly to be Marty's like top advisor. Um, a guy that is gunning to be the, for lack of a better term, underboss of this new uh, blueprint that Marty Robert has to take over the, Canadian, uh, all the Canadian rackets and and hostile takeover of of the traditional Italian mob clans, including the Rizzutos, and that uh, Marvin Casper the Ghost uh, Wemet is playing a major role, and that this dispute with Greg Woolley kind of set the stage for his. I don't want to say ascent because he was a really big deal before he went to prison. In, you know, I think he went to prison in 2010, but uh, he's back on the scene in a major way. Uh, so I just wanted to update that. I'm being told that the foundation for Greg Woolley's assassination um, can trace back to tiffs that he had with uh, Casper the Ghost and Patrick Locke that turned into a beef with Marty Robert, which turned into his assassination. So that's my latest update. I'll give you more information from Canada in the coming days and weeks. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein out.